I play the trombone. When you move the slide, it creates um, types of different sound. The hardest part about doing the trumpet is either learning the fingerings or playing legato. You were kind of nervous at first performing, but then it's just like, wow, I'm so glad I did this. I really enjoy teaching instrumental music, and I have a great bunch of kids here at Nokomis Montessori. The school district has a wonderful way of providing instruments that kids check them out, just like library books. They can use them for the whole year. Normal wear and tear, there's no cost at all. It takes a lot of practice to get the right notes. You get to work with amazing teachers and they're so supportive and helpful. My favorite thing about playing the flute is knowing that it's not that complicated after all. For me, the big thing is they get to have lessons on their instrument without the distraction of the full band setting right away, and that's really important. That's a great opportunity. I was nervous at first, but after it happened, it wasn't that scary. We were performing songs that we practiced for like two months. There really is no barriers for them to participate in band, which I really enjoy too. We, we supply them with all their materials and I know that when they go on into middle school, there's going to still be that opportunity for them to keep playing. When I first got my sax, I played it so much. Like I was outside playing for the neighbors and stuff. Learning to play the instrument is almost kind of secondary to having an activity where they can enjoy themselves and learn. This is the fourth year I've been here now, and it's grown from about 20 kids to now we have about 60 kids. The music program has been really great for him to expose him to other things. He's more confident with his instrument. He's learning how to read music. I think we've been interested in the opportunity to have uh, continued learning in a school setting. And she, I think, really thrived in the setting of performing with her peers.